Hi, this is Tweek. I like to make beaded birds, so let's turn them into ornaments. Join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are, you'll need glass beads of your color and your choice of size. The bigger the bead, the bigger the bird. You'll need beading wire, some crimping beads, a pair of scissors, tools to manipulate the wire, some decorative tiny ribbons to decorate the ornament, and some bells or some glass prisms. Let's get started. I really enjoy making beaded cluster balls and I need two of these cluster balls to make a bird. So if you'd like to see how to make these beaded cluster balls, click the link here to one of our earlier videos where we show you how to do that. So once you pick your size of your bead and your color of your bead and you make cluster balls, you decide what kind of bird would you like to make. These here are two little hummingbirds that I made and they've got a tube bead for their beak. See how cute? Now I haven't done anything else except make them, but what I wanted to do was turn them into, it could be a regular sun catcher. They're beautiful. They just really reflect the light. Just, oh, it's just so pretty in the window. Or I could turn them into ornaments. This one here is a crystal pendant. This one here, where do we go? We've got another hummingbird here that's got a bell. But I didn't just make hummingbirds because depending on the bead, you can make any sort. You can make doves, bluebirds, cardinals, canaries. The color determines which bird you want to make. So today, I'm going to go for another cardinal. And I'm going to start with beaded cluster balls. Here again, let me show you. If I have a cluster ball here, I want a bigger ball on the bottom and then a smaller one on the top body and head. That's all you need because the rest we make with the wire for the wings and the tail. And to give you an idea of how the bead size affects, look at this big cardinal. And all that is is bigger beads. So today I'm going to go for a smaller little cardinal or a red bird by using four centimeter beads and I believe these are eight. You want just a little bit of difference in the size of the bead so you get a difference in the head and the body. So here we go. First thing I want to do is add some eyes to the, the head. Take a piece of, of wire. Now I saved my scrap so this is just enough wire here to do what I need to do for eyeballs. I need a couple of little black beads for the eyes. And what I'm going to do is find a space I want a little nesting space for the eyeballs to sit. See? And so what I'm going to do is... There's a pentagon shape in the middle, and I'm going to use that. That's where my beak is going to go through. So I'm going to come next to that circle. Let me put the wire across so you can see what I'm going to do. I'm going to put eye is going to sit there, beak's going to sit there, and the other eye will sit there. So what I'm going to do is where I know where the beak is, I'm going to keep my thumb there and I'm, I know where that eye socket is going to be. And I'm going to come back past the eye socket and go into the bead adjacent to it. And I'm going to add the bead. And then you'll see right away, pull the wire and see that little eye is going to sit in that space. And that would be where the beak is going to go. But to hide this wire, I'm going to come up over the spot where the beak is, go through. See, now the little eye is sitting in the spot. And I'm just going to lay another bead for the other eye. So very, very quickly and very simply, it's going to rest in that spot. And then I'm going to come back through a bead adjacent to it. really that simple. You're stringing through three different beads. Adjacent bead comes through. Wait, 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 wait. Where's your lie socket? There it is. <laughs> that, they, that little bead sit in the socket where the eye would be. 
I wanted him to look like a bird, not some little cyclops, right? There's where we have, let's see. Okay, then I'm gonna simply tie this off. I want to get these two wires near to each other. Okay, so I've got them coming out the same spot there. Now I'm gonna tie a couple of knots, use my tools to make sure the knots are secure. Then I'm gonna snip as close as I can to that knot. And there we have, you see where the live balls are? It'll make more sense now when I add his beak. Okay, so I got the little head. Now I need a little more wire. So I'm using the 0 0.018 inch uh, belong, 0.46 millimeters. And I'm gonna get a good lead amount. I'm gonna get a couple feet. I would like to have more than less because I'm going to fashion wings and a tail out of all this. I think that's good. Come on, cutters. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is I want what kind of a beak? If that was a hummingbird, you'd take a tube and you'd have your beak. But I'm going to make this a beak that's more yellow. So I've got three sizes of graduated beads, bigger to smaller. And I want to take the tiniest bead first. That's the tip of the beak and that's going to hold the whole bird together. Look at that riding on you little bead. Then both wires together now. I'm going to push it through the next bead. Now I want a bead here for his beak that's not going to pull through his head. So I've got this medium sized bead. But I'm looking for a beak look, so I'm going smaller to larger. Both beads in, there we go. And now that little bead holds everything in place. I've got the beak shape we want. Now we're gonna go right through his head. And we're gonna go space between those two eyeballs. Okay. Making sure I got the right space. Two eyeballs lined up and we're gonna go right between throughout the back of his head. And that puts his beak in position. That's a good beak. Now we're gonna put another bead that matches the size. We, don't, we want a bead that's not gonna pull through the head. Add one red bead. and we're through with his head. So he's got his beak, his eyes, his head. Let's push the head into the body. Now I look for, I'm pretty good at hiding my knots, but if I can see it, I want to get it away from where I'm working. So I'm gonna pick a spot away from that knot and I'm gonna come straight through the body, front to back, both wires, and we've got the birdie's body attached. See? What he needs now are, you need wings and a tail. So let's do that. I'm going to affix this wire. It's really got a lot of space to move there. So I want to fix that by adding a bigger bead, one that won't fall through. Good. I'm trying to see if I have a larger one. Here's one. And to plug that spot. Pardon the pun. <laughs> so we're going to take a bead and pushing both wires. You're gonna split the wires up in a minute here, but so there. Okay, we've got his head, his body, and his rear end. Now I can start adding the feathers for his tail, but I wanna put a crimping bead there to hold all this in place. Okay, so then I can work with the wings and the tail without worrying about them falling apart. So I'm gonna take the little crimping beads. Oh, didn't need that many. I needed one, but that's all right. And we're gonna push both wires through the bead. That's where I think I really need better glasses or better eyeballs, one or the other, both maybe. Okay, and we've got the crimping bead met. Take your tool, and as you crimp the speed, push down so that this whole birdie is gonna to stay together. Pull tight. And it might look like there's way too much wire left here, but we're gonna use that to make the wings and the tail. 
birdie, good. We've got two pieces of wire here. We're gonna start adding beads to make the tail. I usually make two loops. I fill this up with beads and loop it around. You could make more if you want. Some of my birdies, like this one here, has three. So however many feathers you want there, you add them in. So what I do is, side to side, I get some beads. Oh, here, here's a string. These are the two or four millimeter beads. They're the smallest ones I have. They're not seed beads. But I'm gonna use these. And I'm gonna string, well, I've had pretty good luck with uh, like 13 or 14 beads on each wire. So let's start there. get the 13 beads down there and what I'm gonna do is put a crimping bead and then I'm gonna come back to make his tail. So a crimp bead. I want a little bit of a separation there. You push down as close as you can get to that base and crimp. Now to keep myself in order I'm gonna string the other side the same way. Crimping bead, add that. And push it down as you crimp it. Push it down tight, I'm torquing on that wire. Okay, now to come back, I wanna use a bead that's just a little bit bigger than that one. So I'd go the next size up. I had, uh, thinks I have some fours here. And if that's a four, that's a six. Whatever the size beads you're using, I want a graduated look that the feather tapers a little bit. So let's put here, and we're gonna do again 13 beads. And it's gonna be a little bigger because the bead's bigger. So let's see what we got here. Each side, use a little bit bigger bead. Oh wow, they're easier to string too. I wonder why that is. So let me show you, there's 13 and 13. This side looks bigger because the beads are bigger. But as we come back, and add in that wing. See how it's got a little bit of a differentiation there? The crimp bead pulls it in a little bit more to a wing shape, I think. So I'm gonna go with that. And what I'm gonna do is take this wire, and I'm gonna push it back through. There's the beak, I'm kinda of centering on the front of the bird's face. I'm gonna push it back through the bead, his butt bead. So I've got it going in and it's gonna come out someplace up in here. Let's see where the wire is gonna come out. This is where I have to do a little bit of fan dangling. Because I've got it in the bead I want it to. I want it to come out right on here on either side of the bird's head. And that might mean, I see where it is, going in with my tool and pulling it out, okay? So now I've got one tail feather I don't necessarily have this in the position for the wing yet, but I'll fix that. Before I do, let me do the other tail feather. So here again, I'm gonna come back to that bead where the feathers came out. And there should be enough space in that hole to push this wire back through. Once you get it in there, which there it is. Now, where did it go? Oh, good. Okay, hold on, Birdie. I just gotta get my eyeball on it. I think I just saw it. I see it right there, I just have to nab it. So well, there it is, right there. Good, so we got it. And there we have his tail. Now, if you want to, you could add more. I'm leaving it just like that, I like that. And I like how the, the tail feathers are going down a little bit can manipulate the wire. Okay, that's good enough. We're good. Now, we've got either side, look at, 
that came out really, really well. But I don't want the wings to start in that open space. So I'm going to come through the bead adjacent. See, there's a bead on either side. And I'm going to push the wire through. I don't want it to go into his head. So I'm going to use my tool to pull the wire through. Now I have this wire is better positioned where I want the wings to come out. So let's do it on this other side. I want it coming out that bead there. So I'm going to come through the back side here. Catch it with my tool. Ah, good. Okay, so now I have the wire went through the basic part of his body. Now I have the spots where I want the wing to come through on either side. Same process as we did with the tail. We're going to string beads, put a crimp, and come back and we're going to have his wings. So let's do that. This time I want the bigger beads in the front like you'd see with the bird and then the smaller ones in the back. But I want a bigger bead also, even bigger than those two, right there where the where the muscle of the bird would be to give them a little bit of heft. So the first thing I do, and whatever you do on one side, you do on the other, is go ahead and put that bead on, okay? Now I'm going to string up. I think I want to go nine or ten. We're using the bigger bead because of the way the wing is shaped. I want the front part to be a little longer, and then when I pull it back, it'll give it the wing shape that I'm looking for. Thirteen. I think I like that for the length of the wing, be on either side. Okay, now a crimp bead. Pull tight, you can get an idea of how his wing's going to hang. Pretty cool, huh? Now let's string up 13 on the back side of the smaller bead. Make sure of our count, see if that's what we like. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13. Now if I pull this back, oh, I want more. I want that to be a little bit longer. So 13, let's keep count. 14, 15. Whatever we do on this side, we do the other. Sometimes it's just a matter of a bead or two that makes the length look right. So now we're at 15, if I get this on there. Okay. Okay, so we've got to decide where to come through. If I come through the back side or this side, and what I'm going to do is where we came out here, go to there's two beads right behind his head. So this wing on this side is going to go through that bead. So it's going behind the bead you came out of, going into this main bead here, and pulling through. And I actually like the shape of that wing. My birdie's in flight. Okay, now we're going to do it to the other side. Let this one hang out for now, and let's work on the other wing. sure that's what I want. This is the time now you've got your wings. They're symmetrical. Is that what you like? Is that how you want your bird to be flying? I actually like this pretty much and I keep crimping a little bit, you know, trying to shape them more into a wing pattern. That's why I put the crimp bead there to give me that option. But I think that's pretty darn good. So anyways, I've got these two together and I'm going to tie that off. All that work was just this one wire, and that's why I gave myself so much to work with. I just got another idea too. If I flip this through and up, I could probably give him a crest. 
See, I've got all this extra wire here. Let's see if this works. Maybe not. It's kind of on the fly. See how this wire's coming up the top of his head? I'll pull that up. I'm gonna add just a few beads. I'm gonna add a bigger one. And I'm gonna add probably five. I want a crest on my cardinal. It might not be a perfect crest, but it'll give you the idea that that's what's there. Okay. Oh, <laughs> cute. Now if I pull that straight down, back in, is that gonna be enough of a crest? I'm thinking instead of doing that, I'm gonna do three. See people, on the fly, what kind of bird do you want? How do you want him to look? I'm gonna put a crimp bead there. So that's what we have of his crest so far. Hey, I'm liking it. Hey, birdie. Okay, and then we're gonna come back. With, let's see, we have three, let's do five coming back. Okay, now, so now I'm gonna bring it back. Where shall I go? I think I'm gonna go through, there's a spot there's a bead right there I'm going to go through. Let's see if I can get this to work. Oh, I see, the, I see the wire. Oh, it's coming out the back. Okay, let's do that. Oh, golly, look at it. I've got a crest on my cardinal. <laughs> Cute. Now, how do I get these two together so that I can tie it off? Well, let's have them meet. This wire is going to go through that bead. And we are close to it. We are close. I didn't leave myself a whole lot to work with, but I can definitely use these two to tie it off. Oh my goodness, I think our birdie's done. Then we gotta turn them into something. That, my little cardinal has a little crest on his head. I really like how he turned out. What to do with him? I got to thinking ornaments. Ornaments would be neat. And my grandson loves bells. I thought, why don't I take a bell and dismantle it a little, little bit? Because I don't want, oops, save that. We don't want this piece of string. I just took it apart. There's the clapper in there. There's the bead that came with. And then I'm gonna add another bead to add more space. So let's get some wire. Where are you, wire? There you are. This is just the finishing touch. He could be an ornament for any occasion. Wow, he could be for Christmas. Be a holiday bird or he could be a bird for a wedding if he did a bunch of doves wouldn't that be cool so anyways we take this wire I've got here was that about a foot all right so we take our wire and we're going to put the clapper on first so it hangs down in the middle okay now I want to uh, suspend the wires or put the wires together both Wires go in now into that bead that came with the bell. And then I'm gonna add one more bead just to add more space so the bell rings better. Both wires through. Just a little more space when I put the bell on now. Both wires through. See? A little more space, the bell can ring a little better. I don't mind seeing the bottom of it either. So now that what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a decorative um, little teeny tiny ribbon. I got these online, little tiny little ribbons. And what color, you just have to decide what color you'd like to go with your cardinal. Um, I think this white one would be really pretty. So let's go with that. Your choice of colors. What I'm going to do is, I've got two wires here, and I'm going to go just up. See where the little bow part is? Just go right up on either side of the ribbon. So I'm going up the wire with this side of the bow, and then wire through the other side. So now we have our bow sitting on either side of the wire, and I'm just going to pull it down. 
to the bell. I'm just going to let it sit there. Now to bring those two wires together, they will move inside the bow. Simple. And here I'm going to add, I think I need two or three. Let's see how it looks. I want some of these gold beads. I want something to put a little space between the bell and the bird. Let's see. It's going to be two or three. Get an idea. Definitely is threes. I'm going to threes and there happens to be one more right there. through with the bead. So now we have our bell set up. Isn't that pretty? Boy, that could be on its own just something so pretty hanging off a tree. We're gonna add the bird. I'm just gonna pick a spot. Hmm. This is where you get to define how you want the bird to sit, depending on which hole you pick on the bottom to push this wire through. Or you could go on either side. I'm thinking that might work. So I'm coming on either side of the bottom of the bird. Let's see how this works. I'm coming up that main spot right on his back. And then you ask yourself, is that what you like? I do. Now to finish this off, I want to add another bead because there's a big space here for the wire to float in and I want to plug that up with another red bead. So I'm getting one that's an, an bigger that matches the bead body. Let that float down and then I'm putting both wires to the crimp bead. Oh my gosh, could I use a tinier crimp bead? <laughs> I got it. Let it run down and I'm going to go ahead and just crimp it. And then I'm going to put another crimp bead and fashion a loop so we can hang the bird. So another crimp bead. Got it. You decide right now what length you want on your loop and push those two wires back through. Okay, so you've got the four wires now going through that crimp bead. There's plenty of room even though it might look like it's not. So now the side of the wire that doesn't move, that's the one that's hooked to the bird. So I'm just going to pull this until I get the size loop I want. You could leave a larger loop, I was just thinking. If you wanted to hang him actually on a tree, maybe that's not a bad idea too, let's do that. So you could actually use this to be the spot you hang him on the tree. I like that idea a lot. See, I'm doing stuff on the fly all the time, tweaking my own ideas. So let's pull this out. about there and I'm going to pull down as I crimp so you're a little bit different birdie and you're my favorite right now cut off this excess birdie where are you going with your bell Oh my gosh, didn't he turn out lovely? If you don't like bells, you can really amp up the, the glitter and sparkle by making prisms on the bottom. And that one, look at him. He's got like a parrot type head. So prisms, bells, the colors you choose. Here we go, and look at him. Look at my hummingbird. Oh, another favorite. See how different they turn out? Depending on how you decide to put the wings, what you decide to hang from them. I just love it. So if you love or like what you see here, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and remember to ring the bell so you know when another episode of Tweaks with Tweak is coming along. Until then, I keep saying, start beating. Make those cluster balls and make something lovely to hang in your window or on your tree. See you again.